about a year and a half ago, I got a letter from um, from Florentine Films, which is the, the film Ken Burns Film Company, that they were interested in uh, a cut from the album I made with Jill Timmons, uh, the music for violin and viola of Amy Beach, and a specific cut called La Captive. And so I thought, well, that's nice, and put it in the file. And then uh, now, a few weeks before the airing of the program, I started to wonder if it would be included in Florentine Films, was kind enough to inform me that indeed it would. It was featured twice. Um, it's a very soulful cut. It's a very um, deeply pensive cut. Um, and so it wasn't hard to imagine it at any particular place in the film. It happened to be featured uh, during the bombing of Schweinfurt and Regensburg. Um, toward the middle of the second feature. 600 crewmen were lost. The battered factory. Music brings the emotions to a place that words can't always go. Uh, music and words together, or music and text, or music and narration together uh, will bring any listener to a place in his emotions um, that either one by themselves might not be able to go. I also spent formative years of my life in Germany, so I was able to very much relate um, to the places and also to have my uh, La Captive played at a place where I had spent time and to be able to relate to that history um, once again as I did when I was living in Germany as a student and early in my professional career was was very moving. So it brought up a lot of different different emotions for me, almost too many to be processed, um, as I'm sure it did for everybody who saw the film, had their own uh, subset of things that they would think of that would, they would relate to. I think one of the points that was made in making the docu documentary was it was so important to make this documentary as this generation of people who are directly involved in World War II uh, begins to pass.